Well, cl clap it up for yourselves. Um, that was, you guys helped me reach my goal for you, my intention, everybody did that. And I hope you guys um, felt something new within yourself to know that this is possible, right? And just with time and repetition, you can get a skill that a lot of people just kind of respect automatically um, just based off of the things that, um, that were shared today. So use, know this as, you know, you don't have to become a rapper in your career to be able to communicate through it or, or you know, just to be able to um, express yourself more confidently. Because public speaking, right, is everyone's is like the biggest fear for most people in America. Um, but if you know, it's like if you can do this, well, then speaking just becomes you know a little bit easier. I found. Um, so what did you, what, what you want to? I just want to hear the build up. The build up again? Yeah. Okay. So uh, in the in the numbers or in the raps? Well, whatever you did before. The beginning. Yeah. Okay. All right, camera's out. All right, so you can start your phrase in quarter notes or eights. When any term you can speak can be turned into three, then start wording in sixteenth notes while you're turning up the speed. Till you're learning with me to start earning degrees as a sturdy MC who can burn any beat like a mechanical animal with flammable mandibles holding the end of a candle to the stem of a cannonball, bursting with heat till you're thirsty and need to be slippery. You see me reversing the speed back into sixteenth notes because the purpose of them seeing is to take instrumentals and break down the tempo so everyone can follow what we all so call flow. If you don't know, now you know. <laughs> All right. So so yeah. And um, so any any other? We, we can grab we, we can grab a seat right now. We got just like a couple minutes left. I just kind of want to hear from you guys. I'm just kind of curious, um, we can maybe just go around and, and what's one thing that um, you either learned about hip hop or rap that you didn't know or something that you learned about yourself that maybe you weren't keyed in on just yet? I'm just kind of curious to get, uh, get your guys' thoughts. I'll turn this down here. Yeah. I learned that he got to wrap it though. <laughs> I'll give you guys a break on that, but yes, but yes, you can, right? <laughs> I learned that you can use rap like, if you are trying to learn something on, or to like make your like elevator speech. You can use rap to get the ideas out mm -hmm. and kind of uh, start to to learn them and memorize them, and then you can do it as a speech, but you already use that thing too. <laughs> That's a great, that is a great point, and I, and I didn't mention that. I've used rap, like I started writing raps in school for like assignments, like history reports or whatever you know, I had to do. I just write them as raps. It actually helped me memorize the, 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 the content better. So absolutely, if you're doing a pitch, if you can memorize it as a rap, well then you, know, then you could just have a conversation and in your head it's like you have those. It really helps with memorization too. I feel like, what are they called? The, Say uh, rhythmic notation or rhythmic subdivision yeah. or just. I feel like every time you went up, I could like, hear an actual, you know, like a famous rapper like style of it. So let's say you like break it down and, and like in that way, because like when I heard raps, before today I was always just like, oh, it's whatever. But now I like can actually break it down to like that's how it works. Yep, yep, yep. And a lot of a lot of rappers, you know, they just come up doing it naturally. They they I don't know anybody that really has broken down the music theory behind rap. Um, you know, outside of what I do, but it's very helpful because because they are they're doing complex rhythm things and and it's all music, yeah, for Can sure. You rap that one? Huh? What? Which one? Oh, you guys are reading my stuff. It's all out there for you to see. This right here. Oh shit! Sorry guys. That was came from a that came from a. Uh... <laughs> Just cover that up. No, that was. <laughs> I write about all sorts of things. I, that came from something my girlfriend said that I was like, yeah, these guys like all trying to mack on me. And it's like, yeah, but who are you besides someone trying to get in my pants? You know, so I was like, but she said it like that. So I was like, I'm going to write that in a rap. <laughs> that sounds like a good rap. Um, what else? Yeah. I was having trouble with the transition, but I think I nailed it. <laughs> 
Very good, very good. <laughs> yep. For sure. And so have this kind of a technique now that I can use to say, okay, don't speed up the tempo because I know a lot of people start at least to me when they get nervous. Everything just gets marked. But now it gives me a way to at least in my brain to say, okay, no, 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 time it out and pace it so that actually you can be a little bit more pronounced and off the Yes. Absolutely. That's, uh, I'm so glad that you said that because that's something that I've discovered in the process too is that, you know, we. Um, the, the, a lot of times the key to freestyling and always having something else to say, not running out of things to say, is, not, um, is actually to slow your speech down. Because if you can get comfortable and have the patience to speak slower than you can think, then your brain's always gonna have the next thing to say, the next you know, part of what you wanna say um, there, ready for you. But the listener doesn't know what's in your head. So you could say it as slow as you want, and as long as you're engaging them, you know, like, like what you just said, a couple of you guys, or who was it? Uh, oh, I think you busted it. You're like, this makes me really uncomfortable, right? Like, even though he's going slow, we were all keyed in, you know, like what's gonna be the next thing that he says. So the, the, the patience is a huge, huge thing. Yeah, like when you talk, you really exaggerate the, like, the, like everything is exaggerated. I feel like when I talk, I mumble a lot, so mm. that's something else I kind of learned to, like, watching you learn, too, is everything is very exaggerated, so you can tell, like, where the words end and start. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, and, I, and, I've, and I've heard from, from very famous um, song engineers, uh, for example, Eminem's song engineer, um, told me one time in the studio, like, your enunciation is so important. Um, the reason why Eminem was kind of like, a new voice in hip hop when he first came out is because he was so clear with his diction. It's like you could hear every single word, there was no question. And, uh, and that's what he says, he's like, you know, for rappers that are trying to sell a lot of records, be clear, use your enunciation. With the speed, it's like a muscle, you know, it builds up in time, but you can even build those muscles up going slow, just being very deliberate, right? Good stuff, awesome. Well, um, I will end it um, and say that uh, you guys, I, I do make a lot of music. I have a lot of stuff on YouTube. So um, the, so I'll give you guys uh, some links here. Um, what this? Um, so one, if you guys wanna see what, um, what I've been able to do in schools all around the Bay Area and also worldwide, um, is uh, you can go to rapforceacademy.com and there's actually on here, um, if you go to audio lessons, I have like an at home Welcome study kind of thing, Academy. right? So you can guys listen, listen to that. Um, and um, workshops in schools, you can kind of just see all of this stuff. And um, my name, so you guys have the spelling of it. Is R A H M A N J A M A A L. If you guys pop that into YouTube or Google, you'll uh, my SoundCloud will pop up uh, videos. I do have a project that was really cool to hear a lot of people from Brazil. Who's from Brazil? Awesome. So I just um, I have a, a project out um, with a young rapper from Brazil, from Sao Paulo, and um, the album is uh, multilingual. So I'm rapping in English. He's rapping in Portuguese and English. You get to hear Portuguese in, in, in a very, uh, his style is, you know, is very, uh, very clean. He, he likes to rap fast. I've been blown away traveling around the world hearing how different languages sound in rhythm, in music, in rap. And it's just amazing because I don't have to necessarily understand what somebody is saying to be able to feel it and, and for it to sound good. So uh, it really, you know, music is a, is a universal culture, is a universal language and it can connect people who don't even speak the same language. That's why it's really amazing to be able to go around the world and you find people that do hip hop, whether it's dance, whether it's rapping or whatnot, and there's this immediate recognition. So I hope you guys are, uh, you know, if you didn't already know, are coming away with this sense that, that hip hop is definitely so much more than what just the, the media and the industry 
feeds to us. It's, uh, it's really a, a unifier uh, in culture. And so as you guys go out and, and you're, you're building your businesses, you know, worldwide, hopefully in diverse environments, it's, it's something that, um, that, that, that catches everybody's attention and can be used for that purpose. So if you know some things about the history, like Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five and the message, that's just gonna, people are gonna recognize that and, and you'll have something to, to build off of in conversations and stuff like that and build good relationships. All right? So thank you so much. I had a lot of fun with you guys.